welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Orange Zeppelin, and it is now the merry month of May. Yesterday was Beltane, or May Day, or Wicker Man Day, for those of you who celebrate. I had a wonderful Beltane, because that bike path that I've been complaining about for surely over months and months now, it's been closed for almost two years. The, the bike path I, that was supposed to be finished in the course of maybe three months and took almost two years that I've been very salty about, it's finally open and yesterday when I went to the wildlife clinic, I got to ride my skateboard on that path and I did not have to ride my bike on the loop of death that I've been doing, that I've been riding on very a very busy part of town in the middle of noon. And we're starting to get to the summer months, so it, as long as it's on Monday, it's not too terrible, but the Memorial Day weekend, that's going to be scary. So I am very glad that I now have a super safe, traversable path, which I haven't been skating a lot, so it's... I didn't exactly forget how to skate, but I definitely am not as confident as a, on a board as I was when I was riding my skateboard to my previous job, almost every day I was riding my board or riding my bike. And so there's a little bit of a relearning process, but the path is just like beautiful and pristine and smooth. I'm just going to go out routinely with a broom, sweep it up, get all the pebbles off of my path. I'm going to go over with a like a bucket and a pick stick, keep trash off of it. I want my I want my path to just stay pristine. I'm just so freaking happy that I can get from point A to point B and not risk my damn life. It is this was actually a May Day miracle. So enough about that. I am very very happy about that, but uh we kind of need to do the post-mortem on how April went. I shouldn't say that because I'll, I'll tell you right now, I, we lay, we'll lay plans expecting them to work out, but our best laid plans don't always come to fruition. But in this case, it was for a good reason. I was not able to give as much attention to my number one project because I got a painting commission I feel like it's a reasonably big commission. I'm getting paid a good amount for it and because it is an acrylic painting and I am I am being asked to work in a style that I'm not as confident in. So it's taken a lot of my focus and I do need to get it done really soon. In fact, after this video ends, I gotta go down and paint it and I'm not gonna show it to you because I'm not super happy with how it looks right now, but I'm gonna make sure that I pull it together. And I have already spent a lot of hours hunched over the easel. My back was actually not feeling too fantastic the other day because of that. So I need to maybe get up, take some breaks, stretch, do some yoga. If you're an artist, you gotta get up and move around, do some yoga, not go into just complete hunched over goblin mode in front of the easel for hours and hours like I was doing. Yeah, don't do that. But that is happening. And so that's been the number one project. And so that threw a little bit of a wrench in my plan to make April focused entirely on Whoa Awesome Space Babe X, which I did. I did get a majority of the comic penciled out. I did I get a majority of the comic penciled out or am I lying? I I hope that I'm just gonna say it's a majority of the comic. I'll feel a lot better about myself saying that. Which I am trying to take my time on that and make it as good as I can. I've said that before that I get into this idea that I need to get a bunch of things done and no, literally, I do not. I just would like to do one thing really, really well. And actually, speaking of that, I had another another project that wasn't on the list that was just like, I'm going to make this happen. 
I'm going to put a lot of effort to it and make it really good. And that was the piece I did that I posted just yesterday of Kernunos, and I'm going to post it right here. Kernunos is a pagan god that's very important to me personally, and he does have ties to Beltane. I've always interpreted Beltane as like his festival and his holiday, though some people interpret him as also being very tied to Yule, which makes sense because he's the the antler horned guy, and that's very Christmas season. But I I think he likes all holidays. I think he'd be happy to participate in any and all holidays that you want to bring him into. But I wanted to do a piece to celebrate Beltane, and I'm super, super happy with how this turned out. There, there's one detail in the piece that as soon as I put it in, I was like, mm, maybe that doesn't really work, which I'm actually curious if anybody can figure out what the detail is. In fact, I won't tell you guys. You can see the full piece on my DeviantArt. You can get a better view of it. I do actually wish I scanned it. A little bit differently actually. The colors in the scan don't completely match the original piece, which I still think it looks really good, but I am curious if anybody can figure out what exactly it is. I was like, that's not exactly working. It's throwing off some cohesion, which I'm always super open to critiques on my art. If anybody does want to give me a critique, I would be very happy to get one because a lot of the times I just get a lot of praise like, this is amazing, this is fantastic. And people look at my comics and are like, you're better than R. Crumb. And I'm like, no, nobody's better than R. Crumb. You, get, you gotta like throw some, throw some judgment on me. You gotta critique me, be like, hey, what the hell were you doing there? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why I do anything, but <laughs> oh gosh, where where was I even going with that? Um, but yeah, Kernunos was a spontaneous project, and I mean, some of the other things that were on the list, I was thinking of doing sketches for the Beowulf comic, didn't get around to that. I had some, I had two videos I was thinking of making, that again, I didn't get time to do, but I did... I did get that Asterix comic review up. If you haven't checked that out, definitely that's worth checking out. Because that, that's a comic I was super excited to review. I'm reading... It, it's on the... Uh, <laughs> a complete brain fart here. Um, Asterix is a classic comic character. His story was originally published in French. But it is the... I think the most translated comic in the world. So among those languages, Scottish Gaelic is one of those, which is what I've been learning. And that was just really fun to check out. And it's really fun to look at things like how characters' names have changed between versions, which I talk a little more on the video. So I might put the link in the description. If not, it will be probably hanging out on the side in your suggestions. And then I also did the Art Snacks video for April, and that turned out better than I thought it was going to. Which, check that video out if you want to hear me comment on my opinions on some of the art materials we got, and how they were going to work or potentially not work together. I was fully expecting to be incredibly uncomfortable through the whole process, and it wasn't actually that bad. So that that's worth checking out. I did also just get the Art Snacks box for May. I took a sneak peek in, and I'm really excited for that one because it it seems to be tailor-made for me. The only way it could be more perfect is if it had a little white gel pen because this is my secret weapon in a lot of things, but it's definitely tailor-made for me. It's the kind of things I use, but it's different brands, so I'll be able to compare them with uh, similar products I have. I might even do a whole comparison video with what I got, so I'm excited for that. But does, does that make it all for April? I do. <laughs> oh my goodness. On top of that painting, I have another painting that I want to do, and... You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna discuss it while we go down May. And 
<laughs> oh, goodness. So, th this is partly my fault for forgetting when a certain event, two specific events that are happening in May, one of which I kind of forgot about until just the other day, and one of them for some reason I thought was happening in June, and that event is Wes Johnson's Voice of Palooza. So you've undoubtedly heard me mention Wes Johnson recently. You can see his his visage gazing at you from the background. Just you feel so comfortable with him there watching you. Uh, what he does is he teams up with Fallout for Hope, which they do a ton of charity work. It's like Fallout streamers banding together to raise money for various uh charity organizations over this past December they were supporting the St. Jude's Children's Hospital and so what Voice of Palooza specifically is raising money for and this is Wes teaming up with like all his voice actor homies we got a bunch of streamers a bunch of game streamers teaming up they are all banding together to raise money for the Alzheimer's Association and I I mean I don't stream there was one attempt to stream that we don't talk about. I attempted to stream a painting process. We don't talk about that. We're not doing it live. That doesn't work. But if there's one thing I can do, it's paint. I mean, usually I can paint. We're not going to talk about what's happening behind me. We're going to scoot over here so you can't see it as well. But my plan is I was going to do a painting and then somehow do a sale I hadn't quite worked it out that far I actually do have a plan now I know that eBay will let you uh, sell or auction things for charity you can donate a percentage to charity up to 100% even and they have a list of charities that are already um, like connected with eBay I don't know if that's the right way to articulate that but uh, point is, I can totally go onto eBay and list a painting and have 100% of the proceeds go to the Alzheimer's Association. So that is the plan I have. I initially wanted to paint Shea Gorath because heck yeah, Shea Gorath. But I changed my mind and decided I'm actually going to paint Hermaeus Mora, which is another one of many characters that Wes Johnson has voice acted. Because if you've played Oblivion, which I very recently played Oblivion for the first time, he's like everybody in Oblivion. The running joke is he's the one voice actor. They spent all their money getting Patrick Stewart to be uh, the Emperor dude. Emperor dude, I, sound, I, I definitely sound knowledgeable saying that, but they spent all their money on Patrick Stewart and Sean Bean. They, they only had enough money for one other voice actor. Just everybody else is Wes Johnson. But Skyrim was my first Elder Scrolls game, so for me, he's, he's Shea Gorath and he's Hermaeus Mora. Mostly Shea Gorath, but I think painting Hermaeus Mora will be really cool. Uh, the problem is that I... Like I said, I, for some reason, thought Voice of Palooza was going to be in June. It's not in June. It's in May. It's happening right now. Actually, you can go look up Voice of Palooza and you can find a bunch of people streaming to benefit the Alzheimer's Association. So definitely check that out because there's going to be some really exciting things happening this month. So uh, I'm, I'm late by like, well, it's only the second we're good. <laughs> I hope. So I need to paint really fast. And the other problem is that I did want to make a video of the process. They also want to oil paint it. And that takes a really long time to dry. If I paint really fast, which I'm hoping I can. I mean, it's Hermes Mora. It's an actual tentacle void. There's, It's not like... I'm painting Shea Gorath in the fanciest outfit known to man, which was the original plan. Hermaeus Mora, we just, like, this is the sketch. This is hopefully not going to be that difficult. We're going to lock myself in my studio until I finish Hermaeus Mora, but that also requires me to be done with that painting also. So, 
so that's this so that's what things look like right now i'm gonna have to paint really damn fast which that painting the deadline it is this sunday is when the client wanted it done and i'm sure it will be done by then i say but <laughs> But that, that's kind of what the time crunch has been right now. It's two paintings that are on very short time frames. And then that Karen Nunos piece, because I wanted him done by yesterday, which I hit that deadline like at the tail end. I was still working until 11 o'clock last, not last night, the night before last. 11 o'clock at the end of April is how late that was going. So... Unfortunately, I am on just a time crunch for everything, and you might have noticed I did skip a Gobliterated comic, and it was because I just got hit with so many things I needed to do at once. So th there's going to be a Gobliterated comic this week, but it's going to be more of a, hey, I messed up, sorry, kind of uh, direction to the comic. So... So basically that's what's going on. We have two paintings. I have Woo Awesome Space Babe X written on there, so I would like to get a little bit more done, provided I have the time. And then definitely the Art Snacks video, because that's going to be really fun to check out. And then we get to the other thing that I forgot about, and partly because it hasn't been announced yet, but because it is May, we have... We have a pretty important holiday. It's it's a it's practically a religious holiday in my household. But is it the tw yes, it's the twenty seventh Saturday, May twenty seventh this year. That is Christopher Lee's birthday, and that means that Lee Week will be happening. And I tried to do just way too much last year on Lee Week. And I ended up really hating my final piece. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus more on some... I think I'm going to focus on portraits because you may notice I think I've just forgotten to mention my 100 portrait challenge for maybe a couple vlogs in a row at this point. Which, which I'm going to be honest, the thing with the 100 portrait challenge, I do have a bunch of people I want to do portraits of and I have a list of, but I've... I'm thinking about it and it's like, I do a lot of portraits already and they are pretty good already. I think that's not what I need to focus on. So what I'm thinking of instead, I might still just do the 100 portraits in 10 days challenge again that I did last year, but later, later in the year when I'm not completely swamped, not right this second, absolutely not. But I'm going to scoot over here because I am in a weird position. Just don't look at the painting. Don't look at that. <laughs> I, I think really what I need to focus on is full body poses. And I need to focus on more dynamic poses. Because with the 100 Portrait Challenge, I think the original idea is I was going to work on different faces, different skin tones. But it does seem like I am focusing on something I'm already good at when I, whereas I think it would be better for me to just push myself to do something that I need to work on which is how you get better at art it's it's almost like if you keep doing the thing you get better at it so that's kind of where my perspective on the 100 portrait challenge is right now which I did consider way later in the month maybe that will be my inktober thing as I do a portrait every day and then I got a couple other ideas for Inktober. I could do a whole Inktober just on backgrounds from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, which is what I was considering, because that's also something I need to work on is backgrounds. And I've done a couple Inktobers where it's just all backgrounds. Let's work on that. So uh, there was another there was another video game I was thinking of that would. Oh wait, it was Super Mario Sunshine where I could totally do just beautiful watercolors of scenes in Super Mario Sunshine and be like, oh my gosh, what Italian beach did you do a portrait of? And it's like that, that's, yeah, Super Mario Sunshine. That's 
what that is. Beautiful scenery. I, I can just do a full month of video game backgrounds and it would be really gorgeous. So th that's a plan for later in the month. Not, not, not right now. Oh gosh. So is that is that it for the for the plans overall? Just like trying to get some paintings done and that that's the main goal. So you know, on that note, I need to go work on that painting. So I'm gonna call it good right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. I've been seeing the subscriber count go up a little bit. It seems like every time I post a video, it's going up a little bit. And I will definitely be posting more cool art snacks videos, more just like neat coloring videos. I'm gonna, I, I really hope that Hermes Mora video is gonna happen. You know what? Let's not hope it's gonna happen. We're gonna make it happen. We're absolutely gonna make it happen. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely time making art.